Just keep on walking. <laughs> we have photo bombers, I'll tell photo you. Photo bomb. <laughs> We're trying to be professional here. <laughs> My name is Christopher Lloyd. I'm originally from Cumberland, Maryland, but I currently reside in Forest, Mississippi. I've been driving a truck, uh, January will be 14 years. I've been leased on the Bennett Motor Express since July of 2019, so about a year and a half now. I own a 2007 Kenworth W900 with a 132 inch sleeper on it. Uh, I pull a step deck Conestoga. Primarily, my primary freight is jet engines uh, for one of our agents here. Uh, there's actually two agents that do jet engines. Um, and then there's a couple of agents that do fall off loads for here and there to, to have to be Conestoga loads. Um, what made me become a truck driver, honestly, was I got in a rash of tickets on my motorcycle and lost my license for a couple years. And when I got my license back, I was like, what can I drive that I don't, that I'm not going to do wheelies on? I served in the United States Coast Guard for four years. Um, I did search and rescue law enforcement on uh, 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 the waters of the Great Lakes, specifically Detroit, Michigan area. Um, yeah, you know, I got taught first responder training, yeah, how to do firefighting. Um, I was also a voluntary firefighter in high school growing up. Uh, so all that training, you know, it has brought me to where I am today. The most unusual thing that's ever happened to me in my career happened on Thanksgiving morning. I was on a FedEx load from Atlanta, Georgia to Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I did getting off the freeway, it was a couple miles away from the hub, and came upon a single vehicle accident into a, a steel Highline power pole. Uh, the car was on fire, and other vehicles were just driving by, slowing down, taking pictures or something. I don't know. I came upon it, put my uh, oversized strobe lights on, blocked the road with my tractor trailer to help protect the scene. Called 911, got my fire extinguisher, and ran up, put the fires down. Came back, got my winch bar to break out the windows because the doors were locked and they couldn't gain access to the cabin area. Uh, we couldn't even tell who was inside. The, the whole cab was full of smoke. Um, broke the windows out, saw that there were two occupants that were unresponsive breathing. The fire flared back up, ran back to my truck, got my second extinguisher, came up, fully knocked the fire down. Um, and it took about six minutes for the fire department to show up, but after everything was said and done, they told me I was the only person that called 911. And then none of the cars passing by even called 911. Um, and the battalion chief actually came up to me and asked if I was the one that put the fire out, and I said, yeah, chief, I was. And he said, our response time was six minutes and four seconds, and if you would have put the fire out, they would have burned alive. It was not what I was expecting to, you know, to be going through on Thanksgiving morning. I was just trying to haul a load and make some money for the family. I wouldn't be able to do what I do without my mom and dad's support. They've believed in me and supported me in this endeavor for 14 years now. Um, they're the reason I am where I am today, first and foremost. Uh, to Justin up at the SMA office for being a great agent and a great friend. Um, to Billy at the AEX office for, yeah, he's the one to keep me afloat this year with all this COVID stuff going on. Freight kind of dwindled and you know, haul loads for him, uh, as well as Jimmy out in Louisiana, and to Bennett for being, for being a good carrier to drive for.